Greetings from Bermuda, this is PDL Lamy, and welcome to the minimalistic tower defense game Thronefall. So I have played a little bit of this, I've played through the tutorial, I've had a crack at the first level of the game and died. Uh, although uh, in my mitigation I did up the difficulty a little bit, which was perhaps a little rash for my first proper game. Um, but I'm going to jump in now and have a look and see whether we can do any better. So... Uh, we are the little guy on the horse riding around, and this is a level selection screen. So, um, we, uh, this is the tutorial area over here. This is the first main, uh, battle. And, uh, these, I think, are kind of optional challenges. Um, so we're gonna go for the main thing. Uh, we managed a meager score, 6,274 last time. Let's see whether we can beat that now. Uh, so the first thing we've got to do is pick uh, which weapon we want to take into combat. So as we go through the game, uh, we will uh, level up, unlocking some more options for us in terms of uh, weapons and perks and so on. Uh, I'm going to go with the bow and dagger, uh, which is going to give us a fast ranged attack, strong against most units, but not very effective when attacking siege engines. Uh, and we have an active ability that lets us stab a nearby enemy with our dagger and deal massive damage. The lower the health of the victim, the lower the cooldown of the ability will be. Interesting, I didn't realize that. Okay, uh, then we get to pick a perk. Uh, Royal Mint, your castle center produces one, two, or three additional gold per day. Uh, Arcane Towers, all your towers have 20% more range and their projectiles deal more damage to enemies. Heavy Armor, uh, more health, more self-healing. Castle Fortifications, your castle center has more health. Uh, interval between its attacks is reduced and its range is increased. And the first time you die each night, you're revived immediately and all your dead units are revived with you. Um, let's just go for Arcane Towers. Uh, oh, we can pick two. I didn't realize we could pick two. That would have helped last time. Uh, why don't we go for Arcane Towers and Castle Fortifications then? Because uh, when our Castle Center is dead, it's game over. So we can put that off, that will be good. And then mutators down here just make things harder, so I'm going to turn all of those off. Uh, we're just going to go for a basic victory. <clears throat> and see how we do. All right, let's go. I will explain how the game is played. Uh, so this is us on our horse around here. Uh, during the day, we can set up uh, various buildings by paying gold. Uh, so our gold is in the bottom right, which is hidden behind me. Um, so that's possibly not smart. Let me just move myself over to the other side. Um, that will make this much better. Um, so the number of circles above a building shows how much gold it costs. So currently we've got eight gold. This is going to cost three. This builds our castle center. So we kind of need to do that. Let's build that. Um, and we get to upgrade it by paying seven more gold, uh, or we would if we had seven gold, which we don't. Uh, that will unlock more build options. Uh, and you can see these little bumps appear on the map. So each of these bumps is a building that we could build. Um, so we are going to want to balance things like towers for defense with um, money generating things like the mill. Uh, so that we will be able to afford more upgrades after the next night of combat. Uh, I think I'm going to start, though, by building a tower there. I've got two gold left. Um, that lets me build a house, uh, and that will generate income for us every night. And we can build more houses as well, but we are out of money. So once we've done everything that we can do, we can start the night by pressing and holding it down and that is when the enemies start to arrive so uh, we have an attack ourselves we have our special ability the dagger there a the little circle above our heads is the cooldown on that um that was the first wave so pretty straightforward uh, you can see at the top of the screen there the little icon with the red board around it shows us where the enemy is going to come from next time um so what do we want to do? We have six gold, which is not very much. Let's uh, let's focus on generating some income this time. We survived that pretty handily. So I'm just going to build a load of houses uh, and then we'll kick off night two.
So I guess I want to get him kind of low and then finish him off with my dagger. To minimize the cooldown on it. Okay. So yeah, we will lose the game if our castle center here gets reduced to zero health. Um, we have 13 knights to survive. Uh, okay, so uh, we have nine gold this time. Uh, we've got enemies now appearing from the top and the bottom. Uh, I think that symbol at the top means the enemies are flying, so we need a way to counter that. I believe these towers will shoot at flying enemies. Um, gallop as well, go a little faster. What do we want to do? Uh, let's build... Let's build another house. It's still going to feel like we're okay for defenses. Um, the So building the mills uh, will uh, give us another way to generate income, but the mills are kind of vulnerable because they're sort of stuck out here. Uh, and they're going to be the first things the enemies attack. So I'm just going to drop another one of those down there. Uh, we are going to want to update it, up, uh, upgrade our castle center actually uh, soon because that will give us access to uh, barracks, which is going to be useful. Uh, but we don't have the money to do that now. So uh, given that, given where the enemies are coming from, I'm just going to build uh, this over here. Uh, and we get to specify an upgrade for the mill. So every future upgrade of the mill will increase its income even more, or the mill and all of its fields explode when destroyed. Damage dealt to enemies increases every time we upgrade the mill. I think because this is over on the left and it should be relatively safe from the enemies, I'm going to focus on this one being income generation. Uh, and then we can make fields for one gold each. And we're out of money, so let's begin the next night. So we've got the towers kind of covering the top for us, so I'm going to focus on uh, these guys down here. So we can kind of kite them a little bit as well. You can see as we shoot at them, they'll start chasing after us. Oh god, he killed me? <laughs> I died already? Wow. Uh, I did not realize my health was that low. Fortunately, uh, as you can see there, you revive. That's actually the first time I've died. Uh, you revive if you die. Um, but you're just out of the action for a period of time. Okay, we've got 12 gold. Let's upgrade this castle center. Uh, and we can choose from Royal Training plus 75% health and self-healing for us and increased attack damage output or Builder's Guild. Every evening, a level one house is automatically upgraded to a level two house uh, plus 50% health and self-healing for your character. Uh, I think given how easily we died, I'm going to go for extra health and self-healing and extra damage output. Uh, the next upgrade is going to cost us 20 gold, which is rather a lot. Um... But now we've up, uh, unlocked the ability to build uh, archery ranges, um, which is going to give us some troops that we can order around, as well as barracks, which will give us melee troops. Uh, and also uh, a few more things. We've got more towers uh, available now. Uh, is that it? I think that's it. So, and also the ability to build walls which uh, I am definitely going to do because that will help keep the enemies out. Got one gold, so all I can afford is a field. So let's do that. Start the next night. So now they're coming from all three directions. How confident am I in my towers? So you do regenerate health. Uh, during the night as we take damage you'll see um, as long as we're not being hit we'll get some of that back however did much better this night than the previous night so collect up the gold there and get our income we have 16 gold to spend uh, I know what do we want to do where's everybody coming uh, lots of like I said I think these are flying enemies I'm still not uh, super clear on the icons if that is the case i am going to build an archer range so we can get some archers so we have a choice of longbow archers longbows have a very large range but are quite fragile 
a uh, good pick if you manage to keep them at a safe distance. Or crossbow men have a low range but high damage output. They're armored against ranged attacks and bonus damage against ranged units. Less effective against flying units though. Uh, let's take some longbow archers because uh, I'm probably just going to leave them behind the wall here guarding uh, anything that gets to the gate or any flyers that come in and try and attack the castle center. Uh, we've got 12 gold left. I'm going to upgrade that as well uh, and get some more. Uh, and we can gather up our troops around us uh, and drop them wherever we like. Jazzy Snazzy Ben, hey, how you doing? I'm going to drop them here, uh, kind of in the middle somewhere. Uh, we've got four gold left. Uh, give me a little bit better upgrading a house or building a new. Um, is the cost the same? The cost is the same actually, so it doesn't matter. Let's get more income. I uh, can't afford that. This is another house. This is another house. Let's build another house there. Try and get as much money as we can for the next wave. All right, next night. Uh, I haven't actually. I know this retromation did a video on it, but I didn't watch it, so. But if you recommend it, I may check it out. Although having said that, I've been finding recently that I've just kind of getting pulled into too many different directions by new games. Um, and so I've been spending more time just focusing on one game at once. Uh, and spending enough time with it to kind of get good at it. Um, because, yeah. Picking up one game for like five minutes and then moving on to the next game and then whatever the next new hotness is, it's just kind of exhausting. It's a never-ending treadmill. Um, and I kind of, yeah, I wanted to spend more time appreciating the things that I've got. So that's my current plan. Okay, what we got? We've got uh, archers and armored units coming in from here. Next wave. Uh, I would really like to build some more towers closer to them, but I don't have the option to do that. I can build one there. How useful is that? Mm, not especially. Uh, it's like if Link to the Past was crossed with Geometry Wars, okay. Interesting. I have never played Link to the Past, but I have played Geometry Wars. I think I played Geometry Wars. Or a Geometry Wars-like. Um, okay, well, we've got 12. Let's get ourselves a barracks. Uh, we have a choice of knights, versatile warriors who are well armored against ranged attacks, spearmen, fast and strong units do extra damage against fast enemies and slow them down. Not good against ranged or flails. I can simultaneously attack all enemies in a circle around them and regenerate a bit of health for every enemy they hit. Uh, that sounds pretty good. Let's get some of them. Uh, we've got eight gold left, so... Uh, do I want to buy more of them or do I want to just upgrade this tower? Let's upgrade this tower. Uh, choice of castle tower. More health, but uh, slower attacks. Faster speed. Targets the closest unit. Uh, increased range damage, projectile speed. More attack damage. Uh, faster cool. Increased cooldown. Wait, is that increased cool? No, sorry, yeah, sniper tower. So that is a longer cooldown. This is a shorter cooldown. Uh, armor tower, lots more health. When first damaged, it activates a shield, protecting it for five seconds. Targets the lowest health unit and flying, uh, which is going to be useful because flying units are pretty annoying. Um, and this is within range of the castle center, so I think I'm going to make that an armor tower, actually. Uh, let's gather up the flail dudes. Uh, I feel like I'm missing one. Where's the other flail dude gone? I think he's hiding in with the with the archers. Uh, and we'll drop him down here. And we're um, no, we're not quite out of money. We've got three gold left. So uh, I don't know what we want to do. I don't we what can we get in here? Another tower in here? Yeah, give me another tower in there. And let's go. I can hide behind my flail units. If anybody gets through, I'll stab them. Flail 
guys doing a relatively good job of staying alive. Oh. <laughs> this guy's finally... Re oh, no, he's one of the archers. Okay. Uh, what archers? Oh, I, I can actually... Here, come, come here. Follow me. I can actually make them stay. Because uh, I don't want these guys to go outside the walls. Because they're more fragile. Uh, so yeah, Logbowman behind the walls. Everybody seems to be shooting me. Uh, run away. My health is getting low. Got up some gold. Um, so yeah, as our units die, uh, they will respawn at the barracks and come back. Um, just got a bit of a delay on that. Okay, 14 gold. Not enough to upgrade the castle center. Okay, these are flying units now coming from the west. Um, so what can we do about that? Not much is the answer. Uh, oh no, I suppose we could build another tower here actually. That'll help. Uh, we have the money to upgrade it. So let's upgrade it and target flying again. And maybe we should upgrade some of these houses so we get more cash. Done. Uh, and I think everybody can just stay where they are. So we only have the flying units coming in this time, I think. I guess I've got a bow as well. So these are no problem. My last game when I fought the flying units, they absolutely murdered me. I can't get that gold. Oh, there we go. Okay, we gather it up anyway. Uh, okay, 18 gold. What do we need to upgrade this? 20. It's still not enough. Uh, let's upgrade more houses so we get more income. I think I'm just going to take all of these up to level 2. Uh, what have we got? we got some units on the top that may or may not be flying units. I think the top icon is flying. The bottom icon is these kind of uh, rolling ball type things. Uh, we got some knights coming in down here. Okay, 10 left. Let's upgrade the barracks. Get some more melee units. Bring them down here. Uh, and you guys can fight knights um and i'll rely on well actually let's go over here gather up these guys move them over into the middle um press and hold keeps them in place in the night So even when the gate opens, when I'm getting near it, the enemy still can't get through it. Um, so we don't have to worry about that. God, these things do absolutely murder me, though. Wow, yeah, they take a big chunk of my health. Holy. Uh, we also get rewards at the end of the night based on, you can see it pops up, um what percentage of our kingdom survived. So 100% protected means none of our buildings was destroyed by the enemies during the night. Okay, we got 28 gold. It is time to upgrade the city center. Uh, more health and health regen and attack damage. All units move faster when we command them. They can attack while we command them. And they're 20% stronger and more durable when set to hold position. Uh, give me... Uh, I suppose I'm telling the longbowmen to hold position. I don't really care too much about the other things. Uh, it's just improving my stats. Uh, but it's given us upgrading that. The main thing it's done is given us more of these build points. We can now build walls along here. We can build towers. We can build another barracks in the middle here. Uh, we have eight gold left. Let's start by building two more towers. Um, I've only got two gold left. I can't buy much of anything with that. I could buy another house outside the walls. I guess it might divert the enemies. Might destroy that rather than me. 
Okay, let's go. Oh, shoot. I didn't gather up my, my troops. Come here, troops. Let's go. So these guys, I am guessing he's going to do a lot of damage if he hits me. Maybe they're just tanky. Probably just tanky. 100% survival again. Yep. 31 gold. Uh, so we can't upgrade the city center anymore or the castle center. We could upgrade the archers some. Why not? 16 gold. Let's go. Um, did we get more? I think we got more. Uh, let's upgrade the mill actually as well. That's going to let me build more fields. Although I feel like we had quite a lot of um, quite a lot of money there anyway. Maybe we should build some more defenses. We'll build a wall there. We'll build a wall there. We'll build a wall. We won't build a wall at the front because we can't afford it. Um... All right, well, in that case, I've got quite a lot of dudes showing up this time. Let's pick up all of these guys. Uh, I'm going to drop you right about here. Uh, archers. Okay, I could split them up. Some of you there. Let's put some more of you there. Uh, you guys, why don't you come over? Kind of here in the middle. Let's grab some more of these guys and drop them here. Uh, and I guess I'll rely on me and the towers to take out the guys at the bottom. Right. The towers could probably do that on their own. Why have these... Oh, I guess I didn't tell these guys to hold position, did I? <laughs> that was dumb of me. Okay, well, it seems to be working out fine. Yeah, they do have a really good range, those longbowmen. Take out the big guy. Stop attacking my tower! No problem. How much gold? 37 gold, all right. Um, yeah, Slay the Spire 2. <laughs> it's funny, yeah, I, I, I kind of got mixed feelings about that. When I first heard about it, it was like, yay, Slay the Spire 2. And then it was like, wow, this looks very much like Slay the Spire 1. It's like, do we really need another Slay the Spire? Uh, but I don't know. I'll reserve judgment. It's not out till next year, right? So there is a while yet. Um, are they only coming in from the bottom this time? I think so. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what it's like. Let's upgrade this tower here. Uh, let's just do you, uh, hmm. let's do a sniper tower there actually, and I'm going to do sniper tower here as well, am I, am I, no, maybe not, maybe not, let's do just a castle tower there, what have we got, eight left, upgrade you as well, um, more health is probably good for this one, given it's stuck out in the middle. Let's do that. Three gold left. It's not going to get as much of anything. We can upgrade this house here. And that is that. Archers. Uh, 
What are you guys all come? Actually, why don't you all hang out here? Then you should be able to hit just about everything. Uh, and actually, you guys are doing nothing up there, so why don't you come down here as well? Wow. There's a lot of these dudes. Oh, Lee. Wall's holding it well, though. Wow, there's a lot of these dudes as well. I guess there were 50, right? Total. Charge into the middle. Stab, stab, stab. The longbows are, um, proving their worth. Okay, no problem. 100% again. Yep. Uh, 39 gold. Why don't we upgrade this wall? And that's the main thing standing between uh, our castle center and the enemies. We will upgrade this. Uh, I want more range on this given it's stuck at the back. So making that a sniper tower is probably the way to go. Uh, what else? Let's upgrade all of these walls, actually. Uh, are those flyers? Only five? Okay. I'm scared of whatever's coming in through that way. You guys there. Um, one thing, I, I wish the units would stay where I put them last time. Like, I'm always having to gather up the um, longbowmen and put them back in the middle here. Uh, Alright, that should be fine. Let's go. Can't just be five of them. There really was just... That must be the penultimate way. I'm going to say... <laughs> Lulling you into a false sense of security. And now the final wave with about a bajillion enemies coming from all directions. Um, I feel like we should... What have we got? 33 gold. Let's upgrade this tower because it can hit pretty much everything. Uh, Archer Spire, more health, shoot an additional arrow at another enemy in range, reduce cooldown, Ballistic Spire, or, uh, increase the attack cooldown, but more damage, or projectile speed and slows hit enemies down, Fire Spire, 250 health, projectiles explode, dealing splash damage, but their single target damage is reduced by 50%, Tower can pour hot oil on enemies in close proximity. Uh, and healing spire plus 750 health, reduce attack cooldown, plus 90% attack damage. All of this tower's damage is converted into healing for allies. Uh, let's try that. that sounds all right. Uh, yeah, I've heard good things about uh, about the Fallout TV show. I have not watched it because I don't have net. Netflix. Is it Netflix? Oh, is, it, is it Netflix? It's on or Amazon? I don't have any of the streaming services, so uh, yeah, have not seen it. I actually haven't played a lot of the Fallout games. The last Fallout game I played was probably Fallout Three, uh, and that was a while ago. Uh, I am going to gather all of my longbow dudes and put them guarding castle center. This wave is considerably more brutal than everything that's come before. Um, do I want another barracks? Or do I just want to upgrade my towers? I'm just worried these towers are going to get destroyed. Uh, and then that would be a little bit sad. Well, I guess that's why I could have... Let's just upgrade the one inside the walls. Um, more health, additional arrow, another enemy in range. Uh, 
having something that deals splash damage. We started this out as a sniper tower though, so I'm guessing it keeps its buffs from that. Uh, the Hoyle thing is probably not that useful. Uh, let's do something that... Um, let's shoot an additional arrow. And we've got three gold left. Which is going to do absolutely nothing. There's no point taking any economy upgrades now. Uh, oh, we can get another tower here? Sure, we'll do that. All right, final wave. Oh my god. Um, hmm, I should probably get some of these guys down here. But now I'm kind of worried that I don't have enough of them. All right, let's go. A siege engine coming in now. We definitely want to stop them getting through the walls. Okay, I was worried everyone was going to show up at once. Okay, now we're getting the second waves in. Towers are handling the flyers and the southwest by the looks of it. Though they are destroying my mill, but that's fine. Don't need the mill anymore. More guys coming from the south. And health, a slight issue. Uh, actually, no, you know what? You guys are needed up there. And I'm going to leave you guys down there as well. Oh, pressing the wrong button. Attack! Oh my god. Uh, yeah, you guys get over here. Holy... Is that it? Did we do it? Nope, not yet. My daggery attack here, trying to wait till they're lowish health. Oh god, that wall is almost down. Oh god, the siege engines are doing their thing. Mm. That's okay, it's gonna let these guys get closer to my archers. It's fine with me. Anybody hanging around not doing anything? You guys, I'm down here. It's like these guys are just out of range of the longbow units, but that's fine. We survived. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, yeah, no, I don't pirate stuff. and I don't watch much TV at all, so anything that I watch, usually I'll just buy the season on Apple TV, um, which works out cheaper than uh, paying for streaming services anyway. Um, but yeah. Okay, so progress. Uh, we are now up to level 11 in the meta progression. Unlocked commander mode. All of your units and buildings deal 40% more damage to your enemies, but your own damage is 60% less effective. Level 12, magic armor. You unlocked a new upgrade path for your level 2 castle center. Magic armor gives you a massive amount of health points and enemies take damage when attacking you. 13, Architects Council. The build options from the next Castle Center upgrade are already unlocked. This means you have more build options to choose from early in the game. Uh, so these are all the green things with green are the perks that we get to choose from at the beginning of the game. Level 14, Scarecrows. You permanently unlocked a new upgrade path for your mills. Scarecrows have a strong anti-air attack. 15, Heavy Sword, passive. Uh, so this is uh, an option that we can take instead of the bow. 
Passive attack, uh, the passive ability would be slow melee attack, deal like splash damage, strong against groups of enemies. Start the game with plus 20% health and health regen, and an active ability, big strike with larger radius, dealing more damage. And that is all of the levels we got. Good. Okay, so let's go back to the map. Uh, two of six. I'm not sure what that means other than uh, we've played two, like do we have to play the map six times to unlock something? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> um, oh no, we've unlocked this. Okay, so we have unlocked this by winning. Um, just Durstein, um, which we've not tried yet. This is also unlocked as well. Uh, Eternal Trials, welcome to the endless mode of Thronefall. Go up against procedurally generated wave zones in multiple levels that get progressively more and more difficult. You get to keep all your perks from previous levels, but once you lose, it's over and you've got to start from scratch. How far can you go? Uh, this mode contains spoilers for the main campaign. Okay, then we won't play that. Um, and then more stuff down here to unlock, uh, which requires us to beat some of these other levels first. Uh, all right, let's have a look at, uh, one of these, let's see what these are. So I think these are like challenges, uh, empty handed general. Yeah. Okay. So this level has a fixed loadout. You don't yield a weapon and have to rely yield, wield, you don't wield a weapon. And we have to rely on our skills as a commander to defend the castle. Build nothing but troops. Okay. Uh, perks. Uh, commander mode. Okay. All of our units and buildings deal 40% more damage, but your own damage is 60% less effective. That's fine, because we don't have any. Uh, gladiator school units are trained 75% faster. Health potions, all of your units heal themselves by two and a half health per second. Um, and then objectives down here, uh, achieve a high score of 3,000, 4,000, or 5,000. Not sure what happens, uh, if you do those quests, whether that unlocks stuff or whether they're just there for the challenge. I don't know. Let's try and do one and find out. Well, I guess we, we did one in um, when we beat this. Um, so we got a victory. Okay, I guess they're just different ways to play. I don't know if they actually unlock anything or not. All right, empty handed general. Let's give it a go. Uh, build lots of troops. So start with 11 gold. Uh, we better build lots of troops then, hadn't we? Otherwise we're going to do literally zero damage. Uh, build backs. Knights of Versatile Warriors. Then they seem like a decent start. And we can afford an archery range as well. Um, Logmoman, Crossbowman. Hunters are fast and effective against monsters. I haven't seen any monsters yet. They've got decent self-defense capabilities in melee combat, but are vulnerable against range units. Fire archers deal splash damage around their attack target and cause bonus damage against siege engines. Um, let's try some fire archers for a change. Uh, that's all our money spent. Let's go. Uh, let's command our units. Okay, off you go, lads. While you're fighting them, uh, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Two tough enemies coming down here. Wait, we're, we're gonna get absolutely murdered. Um. Um. Maybe I should have built more towers to start with. <laughs> I was led to believe that dudes were the way to go, but that's not very good because now they've destroyed my archery range. And, uh, I oh, we've lost. Wow. That was absolutely terrible. I have played Death Must Die, yes. Uh, I picked it up in the last Steam sale. And, uh, I enjoyed what I played of it. Uh, it's quite Hades-like, uh, which is a good thing. Um, but because it plays the same way every, every time, like, like I, I kept doing runs again and again and again until I'd got 
what I think is all of the characters available to me. But I can't beat the first boss. Um, and I tried again and again and again. And because you've got to go through, I don't know, it, it was just something a bit tedious about trying to battle all the way back to the first boss again and again and again, and then just get absolutely mauled by it again and again and again. So unfortunately, uh, I gave up. <laughs> but I did enjoy my time with it, my very brief time with it. Uh, let's retry. Actually, uh, yeah, okay, fine. So we need this because we can't build anything else without it. And then, uh, can I build towers? Please tell me there's some towers. Wait, there's not even, I can't even build any towers? This seems incredibly hard. Uh, in that case, I'm going to build a wall. And an archery range. This seems like a really bad idea. High damage output. I think that's what I want. And that's all I can afford. Four crossbowmen? Surely there's no way four crossbowmen are going to beat that wave. This seems insanely difficult. No, don't run out, you fools. Stay there. And shoot at stuff. Wow, their range really is pretty bad. Ah, uh, there goes the wall. There goes my crossbow, man. Oh my god. And there goes my castle center. We defeat it again. Um, am I missing something? Because this seems absolutely nuttily hard. I mean, we literally have no choice in our loadout. We got what we got. Units trained faster. Dudes heal. I mean, okay. I I don't know how we're supposed to deal with this. Let's try something we haven't tried before, I guess. Um, build a barracks. Uh, I, they're not, fa okay, so phase one, they're not facing ranged attacks. Um, Berserks jump to enter the battle, causing a big burst of initial damage. They deal bonus damage against siege engines and target them when in range. So we've got no siege engines in phase one. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, I, I like it. it. It is very, it's very minimalistic. Um, in that sense, it reminds me of Isle of Arrows, uh, which is also very minimalistic. Uh, and nice, um, and yeah, it's, it's got nice, nice clean art as well, which I like. Extra damage against fast enemies. I don't think we need that either. Let's go for the flails, and yeah, we can't even we can't even get more flails. Well, we could, I suppose. Uh, we could build another barracks. So let's try that. I'm going to build flails there. You guys are going to come uh, over here. And you guys are going to come down there. We're going to get engaged the enemy near where they come in. And see whether that helps. Maybe this one is... Get there. Okay, they're doing much better. Maybe this one is much more puzzly that you have to be very careful about your choice of uh, starting enemies. Those guys are all dead. That's nice. Okay, you guys come over here. Watch, you can place them instantly before the battle, but in the middle of the battle, they got to run there. But yeah, flail dudes, way to go. Even four flail dudes held after those guys. Nice. Okay. 
oh my god. Uh, 15 mounted dudes, 15 flyers, 15 archers. I have no options to build towers. Uh, I don't know if I would get them if I upgraded the castle center, but then I will have no money to spend on anything else and I'm going to get murdered. So I think... Uh, God. I think we need an archer range because we've got nothing to... Assuming those guys are flyers at the bottom there. I wish the icons were a bit clearer. Uh, assuming they're flying. Uh, less effective against flying. So I take some longbow archers and gather you guys up and we're going to make you stay at the back. So hopefully you don't get murdered too badly. Four gold left. Uh, we can... Build another archery range. What do we want to do? We want to take the flail guys against the archers are going to be good. The These guys are not going to be good against mounted. So can we build another barracks? I don't think that we can. Okay, we're stuck with one barracks for now. Oh, well, I guess we already built it. Maybe I should have mixed these types up a bit. All right, well, uh, I didn't, so I'm just going to have to build another archer range instead. And bonus damage against ranged units. I think we're going to be okay with the ranged. Uh, I don't know whether we're going to see any monsters or not. They have decent self-defense capabilities in melee. Or fire archers. I think we just go for more longbow archers. I don't know. That feels kind of bad specializing too heavily, but uh, let's do it. Drop you back there as well. Uh, we're out of money. Let's go. Oh, I should have moved these guys closer. Why are you following me? Don't follow me. Go fight. Okay, yes. Flyers. Flyers who've destroyed the barracks despite having a load of longbow... Flyers who've destroyed my castle center despite having eight longbowmen back there. Okay, this map is ridiculously hard uh, and I'm not going to play it anymore. <laughs> Done. Back to map. Uh, I guess, yes, these are challenges. So uh, get good at the game before you take those on. I'm still wondering why that says two of six. Why does that say two of six? I don't know. But we're going to go do another map. Let's do this one, given it's the only other one we can do without spoiling ourselves. Okay, uh, bow, light spear, heavy sword available to us. Let's take the heavy sword this time. So slow melee attack, splash damage, strong against groups, more health, health regen. Active is a big strike with a large radius. Okay, if we're going to be in melee a lot, I kind of feel like I want maybe heavy armor, but what else have we got? Uh, commander mode. Units and buildings deal more damage. My own damage is less effective. Architects cancel. Build options are already unlocked. I think. <laughs> um... <sighs> Having good towers. Oh, God. I really like both of the ones I picked last time, but let's try something different. Uh, let's, instead of castle fortifications. for heavy armor so it's all going to be about me charging in and doing lots of damage no mutators let's go okay castle center 
13 gold left to spend. Okay, what have we got? We've got enemies presumably coming in from every direction. Um, gold mine. Gold mines generate high income that decreases over time, one per day. Movement bonus teleport to another gold mine. Okay, interesting. Uh, houses, archery range, fence tower, wall. Uh, where are the enemies coming from? They're coming from bottom right to start with. So let's focus on that. Another gold mine. Yeah, I can see why having teleportation would be useful. Uh, what can we do, though, to slow those guys down? Uh, build a barracks. And let's do... Uh, maybe Spearman is a good pick against the incoming mounted troops. Let's take them, gather them up, bring them down. There. Uh, if anybody gets through here, we're kind of screwed because we don't have any towers in range. So, mm, nine gold left. Would a tower here be in range? It would be slightly in range. Let's build this tower. Uh, and let's get some money generation going. We'll build a house there. We'll build a house there. Kind of feel like gold mines would be better built later in the game given the income well i suppose having early income is useful teleportation is useful i don't have enough money for one anyway there so let's just build another house go night one and i guess i need to get myself down here uh and get piling in myself Okay, now you're all chasing me. Actually, yeah, I can kite them over to the tower. Fortunately, he came up against the reinforcement. Uh, knight survived. Okay, where are you coming from this time? You're coming from over here. And down there. So, more towers. Uh, probably a wall here, not a bad idea. Uh, and that's all our money, apparently. Okay. Oh, wait, no. Don't start it. Let's go gather these guys up. We are only got enemies coming in from down here. So we should be fine just dropping them here in range of the towers. Okay. Uh, guys, down here. No way to shorten the cooldown on my attack this time. I just gotta wait. Okay. Survived. Uh, coming from the southeast. Increase the rate. Oh, I can't upgrade it until I upgrade the castle center. Uh, which I could do, but then I couldn't do anything else. I think we need more income. So give me uh, another house. Maybe an archery range, actually. And I'll take longbow archers. And they can just hang out up here, which is going to be reasonably effective, I think. Should be able to hit the enemies from where they come in. Gather you guys up. Move you down here. Uh, well, we've got one gold left. Not enough to do anything. Begin the night. And 
tank some of them. Not it? Somebody else coming in from somewhere? Ah, oh, no! What are you guys doing? I didn't see you guys. Oh crap. Oh no. I didn't see an icon for those guys. Uh, come on, you're needed up here. Let's go. Ah, oh, I should have used my attack in the middle of them. Okay, run away to heal. Wait for my attack to charge up. Okay, longbowman finished him off. Okay, God, I got away with it. Um, hmm. I'm sure that, oh, we don't see the icons until we get close enough to the edge. Did I just miss them because they were up in the top corner? Maybe I just missed them. Oh, that could have been a very costly mistake. Okay, what have we got? Eight. God, we got, we're just not getting enough income. Uh, how can I increase my income more? Um, God, this is a terrible place for mills. I... Let's put a tower there. That will kind of slow those guys down a bit. Um, what have we got here? Houses, tower, a mine. Okay, let's drop a tower here then, especially since they can't reach it. Two gold left. All I can really do with that is buy another house. Let's gather you guys up and bring you... Uh, I don't know, where do we want to drop you? Maybe here is fine. Um, and then these guys. Put them just forward of the tower. Alright, go. I'm going to trust you guys to deal with the enemies coming in there. And I'm going to keep an eye on these. I didn't actually realize they could run up there. But fair enough. They're gonna go and destroy that tower. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna let you leave you guys doing your thing. I need to move those longbowmen. Come on lads, get closer. Oh boy. Uh, too late. Uh, run away. <laughs> run down here. Thank you. Have you guys finished up here? Okay, come on then. You're needed. Uh, oh, there goes your barracks. That's kind of sad. Don't die, because you're not coming back. Oh my god. God, this map seems considerably harder than the last one. All right. Uh, I seem still doing, okay, 12 waves. 12 waves. Next, what is that sun symbol? I'm scared to find out. Monsters, maybe? I definitely don't see any other symbols. So surely that means everybody's coming in from down here. It means I'm dropping you guys there. God, again, only eight gold. Why am I only getting eight gold? I feel like I'm I've built more. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade that. Um, and yeah, auto upgrade my houses for me. 
need cash. God, that's all I can do. Oh, yeah, now I can build more walls, which is going to be helpful. You guys come down here. And yeah, I really hope that I've not missed anybody anywhere else. Spiky balls. I think I'll stay away from the spiky ball and just let the archers deal with that. Okay, all my troops have been murdered. Never good. I like being able to pile in and do a big AO either. Let's try and keep close enough to do some damage to this thing without being too close to get spiked by it. Okay, good job defenders. 11 gold. Okay. Uh, guys coming from the north east. So gather you up and drop you. Uh, drop you there, I guess. Northeast and northwest. So what else can I do here? Build. A fence there is probably a good idea. Uh, we're at the point where we can upgrade the towers now. I want to. Yeah, I might want to get some gold mines going. Maybe that's why I've got no cash. Whatever. I also need to build some defenses. Uh, let's build that there. Gather you up. Put you outside. Uh, build a tower there. See if those guys can get shot while they're trying to get in. Uh, two gold left. We'll get us a house. So let's build a house. Go. Wait, did I move my... Oh no, I didn't move my long bowman. Shoot. Come here, chaps. What? You threw the... I threw already. Oh god, they killed me. Always those things that kill me, they do huge amounts of damage. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Thank you. Just gonna let these guys come where they go. Oh my god, okay. Oh, hit and run tactics. Ah, uh, we're not getting any more of those guys back. Uh, the area damage is fantastic. The cooldown, not so much. Okay, come on, Longbowman. <laughs> While I distract these guys and stop them killing my city centre. Uh, I gotta run away. And run back. <sighs> Good grief. Okay. 12 gold. Oh, God, I've got so little gold. Southwest, southeast. Um, I think another tower there, maybe. I feel like we're supposed to build the gold mines. Oh, we could get more archers. It's eight, though. God, it's really tough when you feel gold constrained. Um, yeah, build me, build me a gold mine. I need more money desperately. You seem like you're in a good place. Um, yeah, 
everything's coming from the south. So tower here is probably useful as well. Uh, that's all I can afford. I probably should have built that. Too late now. You guys, good against horses. So you can come down there. And I think I better go up to the southwest and deal with that. Um, Longbowmen can stay where they are. All right, uh, go. Oh god, those bottles explode! Get away! Get away! Get away from my wall! Get away from- No! <laughs> no! Take down the walls! Oh crud. Not good. Not good. doing work though. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Yes. God, how much of my kingdom survived that time? 64% protected. Not the best. What does the red X above them mean? They were destroyed in the last round and so I'm not getting any gold from them, I guess. Oh, okay. 18 gold. I definitely needed to build that gold mine earlier. All right. Um... Northwest, southeast. Northwest, southeast. Okay. Oh, and northeast. Okay, this is getting worse. Let's slow you down there. Ooh, some spikes. I'll go for that. Uh, I think I'm actually going to keep these guys here because if I, if I put them down at the bottom there, it seems like they then... When they respawn, they kind of they start by running down there. Maybe that keeps them further away from the action than I want. Um, can we do anything else up here? We could build another tower. Uh, yeah, let's do that. We have any more wall options? Yes, another wall there. And another wall there. I might slow these guys down a bit and let us focus on the guys from the northwest first, maybe. Uh, so we'll, again, I don't want to drop them too far. Let's just drop them there. And, oh god, yeah, that would have been useful there as well. Next time. The longbows. Ah, what are on the longbows? Maybe, maybe put them there. All right. Go. No, wait, wait, wait. Got two gold left. Let's at least buy another house. Okay, let's go help out up here to start with, because this is maybe our weakest area. Oh, no, 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 exploding dude. Okay, there goes all of our defenders. Uh, let me see what's going on over here. Okay, well, they're respawning out of the barracks here. Which is helpful. Uh, they've got past all of the defenses up at the top. Um, okay, let's gather up these guys. And 
drop them there. I thought maybe we defeated everybody here, but no, they were just busy destroying the tower. God, these guys are tough. Oh boy. Um, hey, these guys are very tough. Uh, running circles around them, running circles around them. Are there everybody up together and then AoE? <laughs> this is a winning strategy. Oh, no, 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 don't go for that. Don't go for that. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Holy. 68% protected. Marginally better than the last time. 19 gold. How many more waves? You more. Um, I think we need another gold mine. And I'm going to build that here. And then they're coming in from... Oh, I've got 33 coming in from up there. Do we want to build more of these? Uh, we probably do. Um, and... Thinking of like a sniper tower maybe, but we got 35 coming in. Oh God, we got 35 coming in from all directions. That's fairly scary. Let's gather up four of you and drop you there. Gather up you four and drop you. Uh, sure. All the way down there. Uh, let's build that. We've only got two left again. Oh, it isn't enough to do anything. Build a house. Uh, longbow dudes. Uh, why don't you give us some extra coverage over there. And let's go. Where am I going? What am I doing? Let's run all the way down here. Where are we? Guess that guy's bought us a little bit of time. Here we again. I can, can I kite them backwards and forwards across these spikes? Keep doing damage to them. That'll be good. Man, there's a lot of them. Okay, I think I need to go check on how everybody else is doing. How are you all doing? What's going on up here? Uh, fairly bad. Oh yeah, these are the guys. Oh no, they're all mounted. Okay. I thought it was the ones that did a lot of damage. Okay. Uh, follow me, follow me, follow me. Actually, I don't know whether there's going to be more coming in up there or not. Mm, let's assume we've got them all. We got them all anyway. All right. Nice. How much gold? How much gold? 26. Okay, that's good. Do I want to unlock the castle center? Is this the final wave? It's not the final wave. It's just a large number of enemies are coming. Uh, give me more longbows. Um, what can I do here? Okay, I'm going to build these. These, let's just build a, like a killing zone of towers. 
Uh, they're going to focus on this one, so I don't know. Maybe I upgrade that. Is anybody coming from anywhere else? Northwest. Northwest. But are you flyers? I think you might be flyers. Uh, so let's bring the guys with the spears. Uh, and drop them just in the middle there. Maybe I want them to hold the ground as well. Right here. 10 gold. I, can we upgrade this? We can't upgrade the fence. So we need to upgrade that first. Um, okay, give me another tower there. And yeah, let's make this one tougher. So armored tower. Armored tower? It's more health, but... How useful is it? Uh, maybe it's alright. Yeah, okay. Do the armored tower. Two gold left. Uh, as always, buy a house with it. I could save the money. Houses are not really paying for themselves anymore. Let's just save the money, I think, for next time. And go. Actually, everybody's down there. If these are flying guys... Wait, 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 what are my longbows doing? Get over here, you fools. Okay, it's not flyers. I always mix up the icons of the flyers and these guys. Oh, jeez, they nearly murdered me. Well, yeah, okay, so these are the ones that do huge amounts of damage. Oh, boy. Oh, there's even more of them coming in down here. I don't have a good feeling about this. So much for my, let's do lots of, <laughs> lots of towers. They got absolutely mauled. No, no, stay away from my city center. Stay away from the center. God, we survived. Holy. 65% protected. All right. 25 gold. Two more nights to survive, I think. Yeah, these towers just got absolutely mauled. Where are they coming from now? Down there. And 14 heavy guys up at the top. Okay, we're going to upgrade you. Uh, and we're going to... What do we want? Do we want... Cool down. I've never tried a bunker tower. Tackle down... Mm, reduces the range. I don't want to reduce the range on that. Uh, I don't want a sniper tower because I've got lots of guys coming in. So I'll just upgrade you to a castle tower. Uh, we'll build another one there. And we upgrade that as well. Castle tower. Heavy dudes. I feel like I want a sniper tower on them. Uh, which, that one could hit them when they're at the walls. So, let's do sniper tower there. And... Hold another tower there, maybe. No, I don't have enough for an upgrade. Okay, gather you up. Drop you there. Actually, drop you. Drop you. I guess close to the wall as I can get you. So hopefully, when you're fighting, you're in range of that sniper tower. Um. 
And four gold. What can I do with four gold? Not a lot. Could buy another barracks. That's actually probably a good idea. Um, what have we got at the moment? We've got spear dudes. Let's get some flail dudes. Uh, if I can uh, try and get the flail guys without getting the other guys. Uh, and you guys should come. I think down here. Right about there. And zero gold. Let's see how this goes. Okay, getting a little bit beaten up. Good grief, they just walk. Oh my god, they're just walking through absolutely everything in their path. Holy. But <laughs> they are just. The towers are like matchwood. How are we doing with everybody else? Seems to be okay. All right. Um, you guys need to get up here. Nearly dead. Let's try not to die. Let's gather up these guys who are doing nothing. Oh. Didn't realize I was carrying somebody with me. No, no, no. No! Well, I was too busy trying to gather these guys up. They just walked to crush my castle center. No! It's doing so well. Ah. Uh. Level 16, warrior training. Your weapon becomes more powerful every night, all the way up to 100% for the plus 100% for the final night. Level 17, wind spirits. You permanently unlocked a new upgrade path for your mills. Wind spirits can catch and block enemy arrows in range of the mill. And that's it. All right. <sighs> Tough game. Tough game. Uh, but obviously that meta progression is making things easier for us as we go um not only in giving us more perks and weapons and stuff to pick from but just yeah stuff like increasing our attack damage uh it's gonna make a big difference uh but there you have it that is throne fall uh i really yeah i really like it it's a nice small cute minimalist good looking tower defense game um and i am looking forward to playing more of this and hopefully not dying quite so often and now, that's going to do it for me. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, this is BDLM is signing out. Bye for now.